Hey everybody, I'm John from Legacy Woodworking Machinery and today we are going to be talking about modeling. Lately I've got a lot of questions about it. How do you make a 3D model from a part? I've had um, people here asking as well, so I thought it'd be time to go ahead and go through the process of taking a picture and turning it into a 3D model. For today we're going to be using this shield for the Utah Highway Patrol. This is going to be done for a friend of mine and we are going to go through how to take it from this picture into a 3D model. Now, the first and most important thing is that everything 3D starts 2D, which means modeling begins with no modeling at all. It's actually all vector drawing. So to become good at vector model, vector drawing, the first thing we need to do is get really comfortable with node mode. And we're gonna show you some of my favorite shortcuts. All right. There are a lot of shortcuts in node mode and these are the top six. These are the ones that I use all the time. First is N. When you hit N on your keyboard, it'll toggle you in and out of node mode, which is great when you're moving vectors around and pulling things here and there, making sure they look good. Second is A, which just turns the line into an arc. B, which turns a line into a Bezier curve. S, that smooths a node point or a click to and converts that into Beziers on both sides of that node. L, which turns the arc or bezier back into a line, helps when you get really crazy and start pulling things around, you need to reset and restart. L is the key for that one. And I, which inserts a point into a line or a node or a arc or a bezier. All right, from here, let's go ahead and get right to work. The first thing we need to do is we need to draw a triangle here. So let's go ahead and start from the beginning and draw that triangle. We're gonna go up here to our draw polyline tool we're gonna just click and lay a triangle on there. And what I wanna do is I wanna lay it down in our model. We're gonna center it left to right, and I want the bottom of it right where it belongs. So we're gonna zoom in, we're gonna bring our arrow, and just arrow that down until it's perfect. Now it's not quite big enough, but the bottom is perfect. So we're gonna to come to the top now, click on it a second time, hold that dot, hold down shift, and we're gonna pull it up until it fits right there. Okay, now let's bump that up a little taller. We're gonna see that it's just a little bit too big. So we're gonna just take this one and shift and pull it down. Now what's important here is that when we're pulling it around, that if there's something that you need to change, or we need to do anything with, that we do that in all the sides. We need to just make sure it's about as perfect as it can get. Okay, let me go here. We're gonna pull it just a little bit. Okay, and now with that one about where we want it and it's close, we're gonna bring that one down just a little bit more, not the picture. There we go. That looks about as perfect as it's gonna get. We are now going to copy and paste it and do a V vertical flip and then we're just gonna bring that back down again. Now once we're down to here, what I want to do is hold down shift and grab the other triangle and we're going to use our center. So we're going to center it right there. That's going to make it dead centered on our zero zero, which is really important as we go forward. So this is now the basic or the back to front modeling. This is the furthest most deepest point on this badge will be that star and everything else is going to build on top of it. So let's turn off our picture right up here in Aspire 12. We'll grab our scissors tool and we're going to clip out all of this. Okay, that will give us our six pointed star. Now, if we turn back our, our picture back on, if we turn our picture back on, oh, then we're going to offset inwards to these next points here. So we're going to use our offset tool right here. We're going to go inwards. We're going to make sure we create our sharp corners. Now I'm going to cheat because I've already measured these. It's going to go in about right there. And the next one's going to go in about right here. And then because I'm already here, I'm gonna add one more line right up the middle, which is gonna be right here. So we're gonna go 0 0.04, 0 0.08, 0 0.1, and 1.125. And that's gonna give me a three. Now you're gonna notice right away here that John, they're not all the same. You're exactly right. This is someone's picture. So we're gonna work just off this top section where everything looks good in this point of the star where everything else lands, it lands, and that's where we're gonna leave it. Okay, so turning off our picture again, our next thing we wanna do 
is just make sure everything is nice and centered. You look at those dots right up the center line on those nodes right down here. So we're perfect. Let's add our circles. Okay. So we're going to come up here, about here. We're going to bring our circle up. I'm going to make sure it's about the right width. So about two. And then we're going to bump this down until it fits. I'm going to look at that one say, hmm, two's a little big. Let's go 1.9. And then we're going to bump that up just a little bit until it's perfect. Once we've found it, once we're happy with that one, we're going to array it around the other five points. So we're going to use our copy tool. This is going to be our circular copy. And our rotation center is going to be zero, zero. That's why I like my zero in the middle. Rotate our copies, make six of them, and click on copy. Okay. Now here you can really see how far off they are. We're not so worried about that one. Again, we want to work off just this top one or just this bottom one. And these sides, we're going to land where they are. And we're going to be just fine with that. Our next step is our inner circles while we're building the rest of them. So we're going to grab a circle. We're going to go right on zero, zero. We're going to pull it out until it's about there, which is about 13. Let's see, that's 12 and a half. And let's go in here and look. I'm going to say still just a kiss too big. So we're going to go 12.25 Hit apply. That looks great to me. 12.25 is our first one. We're going to come in off the center again. We're going to pull it back up here. And we're going to look at this one. And we're going to try to make that a better number. 8.75. I'm going to be happy with that one right there. So again, we're getting them close, but we're getting it all symmetrical, which is the most important thing you can do in a model to make it look really nice. And nobody's going to notice any of the other little things. So that is where we want to lay. Now, the last thing we want to do is I want to lay our line down to put our text on here. So we're going to draw one more circle in here, and we're going to bring it to the top of our text. So I'm going to bring it to right there. Okay, and that's 11.8 inches, and that looks wonderful right there. That's going to help us make sure that our text, as it's written around here, will all lay out perfectly. Okay, that's enough for today. We're going to go on to our next class, which is going to be the second step. Again, we're, everything 3D starts 2D, so we are working on all of our vector shapes before we move on to our modeling. So hopefully this gives you an idea of step one when you are doing art to part. So you will see in the next one that all the art's going to be done. I won't waste your time doing that one. We will talk again in the next one.